And welcome back. Two-time NBA champion, former U.S. Senator, and lifelong storyteller, Bill Bradley has worn many hats throughout his lifetime. Bradley is also an Olympic gold medalist and National College Player of the Year who spent 10 years as a Hall of Fame forward for the New York Knicks, winning two NBA titles. And his documentary, Rolling Along, is airing right now on HBO. Here's a sneak peek. Here's Bill Bradley, everybody's All-America choice. Bill hails from Crystal City, Missouri, and he now owns every Princeton and Ivy League scoring record. You begin by bouncing a ball. Your knees are bent, your elbows under the ball. You shoot and you follow through. I couldn't get enough. My father always wanted me to be a gentleman. My mother always wanted me to be a success. And neither one wanted me to be a basketball player or a politician. Bill Bradley is here with us now on Connecticut's Morning Buzz. Senator, thank you for your time. Thanks, Alyssa. It's a pleasure to be with you. Nice to have you here. So this biopic, it's available right now. You can watch it on HBO, and it really starts from the very beginning. Let's hear it in your own words. What can viewers get from this? Well, what they're going to find is it's more a, a human journey than it is a hero's journey. It's uh, a performative autobiography, so I'm performing uh, my, the story of my life, but it's full of uh, my beginnings in Missouri on the Mississippi River and then at Princeton and with the Knicks and then in the U.S. Senate and beyond. Um, and I think that uh, people... Uh, my hope is that I've tried to be as honest as I possibly could about myself because I would like people who see this to realize that it's a we share a common humanity. When uh, someone, we ask a focus group, what do you think of this? Who was this about? And they said, it's about all of us. Um, it's about love of the game, love of uh, politics. It's about perseverance, forgiveness, uh, joy, triumphs sadness and defeat and in other words as i said it's a human journey and not a uh, a, a hero's journey i love that and i know this originally premiered in the 2023 tribeca film festival congratulations on that that's quite the accomplishment and i what a career you have had. I love how we just heard from you in your own words there when we had a little bit of a preview how your father always wanted you to be a gentleman, your mother always wanted you to be a success, but neither of them wanted you to be a basketball player or a politician. It seems though that you have done all of that. A gentleman, great success, great basketball player and politician, but in your eyes what has been the most rewarding part of your life so far? Being a father is the most rewarding part of my life, quite frankly. Um, all of the uh, other things, whether it's basketball or politics or whatever, were in part were my passions, but uh, the most rewarding thing is helping to raise uh, a daughter. That's beautiful. And will viewers be able to see that side of you as well? So many people know you as you know, a legendary basketball player, a U.S. Senator, but not, not many people will really get to know you as a dad. Yes, well, I think that they'll get to know me as a human being uh, through this film. And my hope was that it could also, in a world where there's a lot of division, lead to some healing as people realize there's a common humanity. And, uh, you know, because we have all the division in the country, maybe we could learn something from what made the Nick team successful so many years ago, right? I mean, take responsibility for yourself, respect your fellow human being, um, and listen to them uh, carefully, uh, enjoy their humanity, disagree with them honestly, and never look down on people you don't understand. Yeah, that to is me, important. It's the message of the film. All great messages that we could all uh, remind ourselves about. This obviously is a film of acceptance, a film of unity. And let's let our viewers know one more time where they can watch this. Well, it's on, uh, it's on Max now. It's uh, debuted yesterday and will be on for another six months. And uh, so they can go directly to HBO Max and, and watch it. It's got a picture of me jumping into Willis Reed's arms. That's the key <laughs> art of the thing. And uh, I think, I hope that people will see themselves 
when they see my life, they'll see themselves because we're all sharing a kind of humanity that bonds us beyond the politics of life. It is the humanity of life that this tries to deal with. That is so true. And Senator, before we let you go here, I have to ask you, what do you think of our Yukon Huskies here in Connecticut? I have a lot of respect. <laughs> I have a lot of respect for the program. And I wish them all the best. Oh, wonderful. Well, it has been my pleasure chatting with you here on Connecticut's Morning Buzz. And once again, we thank you for your time. And uh, congratulations on this uh, wonderful film that people can see right now on HBO.